Hello again, and welcome back to our series on FTD clustering. My name is Goran, I come to you from Technical Marketing and Engineering with Security and Business Group at Cisco. This will be our third video where we're going to discuss cluster link resiliency. Here, we're going to work on our FTD2 unit and we'll shut down the cluster control links that are part of this VPC here. This will in turn take out the FTD2 unit out of the cluster and we'll check our connectivity. We'll then recover the control plane, bring it back into the cluster and also monitor the connectivity. The data plane interfaces for FTD2 are also going to go down as that unit takes itself out of the cluster. Again, we'll be monitoring connectivity between host A and host B and C, which go respectively through their own BVIs on this FTD cluster. So let's take a look at our consoles here. Now, if I look at my cluster info, I can see that my second unit, FTD2, is the cluster master and if I actually display the connections on that unit I can see that my SSH connections and my FTD uh, iPerf connections going through BVI1 are actually active on the second unit so the master unit is owning those connections while FTD1 slave unit is actually the backup of those units on our switch we'll take a look at our VPC 40, uh, 142 which <clears throat> carries the cluster control link for this unit um, so here show VPC we're gonna bring down the VPC 142 to take the second unit out of the cluster and test our connectivity so let's take a look at interface 1.8 first shut that down uh, TCP connections are still up and running with top um, no impact on our iperf and pings are still going just fine if we take a look at our FTD2 unit we can see that its 1.4 interface had gone down but this unit is still inside the cluster so we had not due to resiliency of the CCL we did not take it out of the cluster yet so everything is still functioning properly and that unit is the master unit in this cluster if I look at the console itself here its connections it still owns those SSH and UDP connections here show cluster info same as FMC shows me that this unit is master the other one is a slave so we'll proceed to take out the second unit out of the cluster um, you know by taking its last control link here so as I do that over here this unit will take itself out of the cluster the other one became the master our TCP connections um, are still alive here the pings are going through and if we take a look at our UDP we actually had a pause of about four seconds um, the packets being held back queued up because you can see here that 11 of those arrived in the next uh, active period um, so we had about a uh, four second pause in traffic while that unit took itself out of the cluster. So show VPC shows down on 142 VPC. Show port channel summary also shows that the port in 42 is down here just as well. Here you can see that all four links had gone down both the data plane and control plane uh, all red now that this unit is out, out of the cluster if we take a look again at uh, connections on our FTD1 new master 
we can see that those connections are now owned on this unit. Now let's bring that unit back into the cluster. We'll do a no shut on its control links and I will manually enable this unit in the interest of time instead of waiting for it to auto rejoin in five minutes. So here I can see that there is an election process um, happening with the cluster control links going back. We can see that the CCL is back and up in upstate on the switches themselves. We can see that this unit is now in the slave app sync. This is going to take a little time. Here in FMC, I can see that um, second unit is not in the cluster anymore. The master had taken over. So now those two units are syncing and we're simply waiting for master to replicate all the config to this uh, FTD unit. If I look at uh, the console again, I see that FTD2 unit became a slave and part of the cluster. Um, we now have our cluster back and I want to see that all ports are up and running again on switch 2 as well as uh, switch 1 and if we go back and look at our FTD2 unit here I can see that already all the ports are green and everything is uh, back together again. Our connectivity, the TCP connections are there and we really didn't see a hiccup in connectivity as that unit joined the cluster itself. That concludes our control link resiliency video. Thank you for watching.